was trying a smoky eye. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went out and did some gardening. <laughs> oh goodness, what we got going on here? Okay, oh, hair, I have black hair, but I don't think so. Oh my god, look, just, I sweat. <laughs> look, uh, oh well, we can do. I was trying to do that smoky eye because I just love those lashes and the smoky eye. I love, I love it, I love it. I know I'm not going anywhere. What am I doing? Eh. Okay. So. So how are you? <laughs> I'm DIY Bronwyn. I haven't done a DIY yet in a little bit, but I'm going to. I have a bunch of stuff. Um, I used to uh, watch this bunch of people um, on uh, YouTube, and they were called something and Holly, Mike and Holly, I think, and they would do dumpster diving videos, and they were amazing. There was so much stuff that they would get. Like people throw away so much stuff. So, just before me and my ex split, um, I had him run me around all a bunch of dumpsters to see if there was anything good in them. <laughs> and there was. <laughs> Lots of good shit. <laughs> free. I love the free shit. It's nice, no? <laughs> but yeah, so, I think I gotta sit differently so you can see the top of my head. Usually I don't like cut, cut off like that and I look crazy. I look crazy anyways with this high makeup. It ran. I mean, it's supposed to be like, it, what, you, what do you call it? Your, um, stay on power, like for 24 hours. I get sweaty. Yeah. And I mean, it's April and in in London, it's, it's just, uh, it was raining in the morning and then now it's like beautiful and sunny in the afternoon. So I went out and did some gardening because it's beautiful and sunny. Yeah, and uh, I planted some stuff, some tomatoes, and some zucchini, and some, what else, what else, what else? Oh, some render beans, um, some peas, sweet pea beans, um, tomatoes. Did I say that one already? Uh, I already have lemon thyme, oregano, I pray I still have oregano, it's a cold winter. Um, uh, lavender, uh, rosemary, hope it made through too. Made it through, I should say. Made it through too. But yeah, so um, I love gardening, and I love it when I when I can see them. So the only problem I have is I just have like back issues when I I can't sit in a certain way for too long. So I wanted to have raised beds. Well, so I have to like build the sides up, and then I ended up buying another um, kind of big one. They're called Out Sunnies. Uh, that's the name of the company, and it was like six by three. Or maybe even seven by, or maybe even like five by nine even, but it's really it's quite good, good size. And I planted all my stuff in little containers, and then when they start sprouting, hopefully like by May two four or whatever, I'll be able to go put them in, and that'll be hopefully um, past the frosting in the night. You know, like in the in the middle of the night, they get a, a cold snap and some of them die. It just happens. And uh, wrap your. Um, all your bulbs, daffodils, all that kind of stuff, just put them in a nice box of, uh, what do you call it, um, chicken wire, so that the, the roots can go up through, but then the, the uh, squirrels can't get to the bottom of the plant and eat your bulb, your bulb, I'll eat your bulbs, <laughs> you're gonna eat your bulbs, <laughs> oh man, it doesn't take anything to make me laugh, does it? Okay, so I wrote some shit down. <laughs> okay, so I just have so many little things on my mind. So I'm like, I bet there other people have these things on their mind. Okay, what did you think about those Hawaii fires? Mm, sus. That's what I say. Mm hmm. No cap. <laughs> Okay, so Bill Gates, ghoul or no? <laughs> I vote yes, ghoul. <laughs> and there's another one that's buying up a bunch of shit too, Jeff Bezos. What do they need all this farmland for? What the fuck are they doing? They want to grow their like special crops, so they, like what, Soylent fucking green for everybody? <laughs> like, I, don't, I just don't think so. Mm. So, oh yeah, and if they lied about aliens, and now they're saying that there's aliens, how are we supposed to trust them about anything? How, aren't they just liars? Like, if you are bad at your job, you get fired. <laughs> but these guys were like, yeah, 
We just lied. We're bad at what we do. <laughs> we didn't feel like telling you. So yeah. So what else are they lying about, right? Like, I mean, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, so what else? I think, and I really believe this. I think our, our leaders, including Trudeau here in Canada, are planning our demise. I, I don't know, understand what it is. They're going to try to. Um, have military control over cities or have 15 minute cities where everybody can't leave or you know like it, there's so many things like a plot line to a fucking dystopian horror movie but it's it's literally coming true in front of our faces and they invited all these people from other countries to come in they knew they knew we we know that we see you government we see you we know what you're doing and it's so wrong it is so wrong but anyways so and then there's like these Palestinian pro -pal pro Palestinian marches and then there's people that uh, like Christians like a lady just got bashed in the face today and broke her skull because somebody um, ripped her off for her purse and she's just was on her way to church you know she mind her own business but like e every day I hear about something going on in the world and I'm just it's it's sad because like you know I'm raising a kid and he's got to look forward to something in the future we've got to give them hope and give them a, a future and give them something to believe in right I mean I mean come on <laughs> okay so hold on um no I didn't write that one down la, la, la. okay oh <laughs> this is one I might just make a whole video on just this topic because are we serious? Are you are you motherfucking serious people? Really? So white people, did you know that you're just uh, male monsters, uh, bleach demons, um, cum goblins, <laughs> crackers? <laughs> heard that one before. And rice cakes. <laughs> I haven't heard that one, but that's that's. This is one that I came up with, or I, I came out from on online with. There's just a bunch of them, and they were on this lady's. Um, I didn't write it down or, or tape it, and I don't know how to tape my show when I'm watching a show. I'm not sure how to do it. I'm, I'm learning. I'm really, really learning. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. But yeah. So, um, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I keep forgetting things. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. But yeah, so like, I, I really am worried about the world, and I'm worried about the fact that everybody is hating on everybody. Blacks hating on the whites, the trans hating on the other trans, <laughs> the, the LGBT don't want to be part of the new trans. I don't blame them because they're crazy. <laughs> and like, there's just so much turmoil. And then there's this whole uh, red heifer situation where in the Bible it says something about um, you have to sacrifice a, a red heifer. I mean, even back, you know, like even like, you know, the Garden of Eden and they got tossed out and then Cain and Abel and all that shit. They're like, they, they had to like be farmers and they had to look after themselves like that. I don't know. It just, it, the stories seem weird. <laughs> it doesn't all make sense to me. <laughs> okay, so, so they were bad from back then. So like, uh, it, I, they, they think now, the, the black people think that we were the ones that began slavery. And actually, I found out that black people were slave owners first and sold the black slaves of their, uh, their, <laughs> their slaves to white slave owners for lots and lots and lots of money. In those days, it was lots and lots of money. And it was just the thing that they did. And it was like, you know, eh, everybody does it. I, can you imagine this? And anyways, I'm going to put on the lotion because I'm dry. You know? <laughs> I'm busy. I'm doing shit while I'm talking to you. I, I got a life, you know. Jesus. And so, <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm just worried about like, what what is going on. Why? Okay, I know the George Floyd thing was like big. And then all of a sudden the BLM was big. And then the BLM people that started the movement took all the money from themselves and bought themselves millionaire mansions and stuff and didn't do shit for the black people. <laughs> That's wrong. That's just so wrong. And they took all this money, all these donations, and people really believed in that cause. And I do too. Like, they do matter. Black lives do matter. And I get it. I didn't get it at the first. I was like, oh, well, what's this shit? But there's so many, like, just black kids just shot for being black. Like, to me, yes, there's a problem. That's a problem. 
So if that's going on, and it is, then there are things we need to address. But by decriminal or not defunding de, um, the police, that's not going to help anything. And um, looting in you know like Gucci and places like that, where everybody's going in and mass robberies, and then they rip off stuff and then they run out. I've seen it all over like YouTube. If you just look up, you know, looting, <laughs> just type that in, you'd be so surprised. And then uh, like people are are thinking that that's okay. They close down stores because they steal so much stuff that. The people are just like, I can't take the losses anymore, I have to close my doors. They're, they're closing family businesses, they're closing family restaurants. This violence, it, it came over, like I said in my other video, it came over from when I was a kid in the 70s. I remember watching like Quincy, that was so cool, and Love Boat and all that shit. Remember, and, and Bionic Woman, and The Bionic Man, all that stuff. But back in the 70s, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> um, there was a whole bunch of unrest and it was always the Middle East and they were always killing somebody, they were always hurting somebody, or they were always planning to kill or hurt somebody. And it was just it was just a lot of death and a lot of a lot of shit. And then there was, you know, the Fidel Castro and the Cuban Missile Crisis and, the, and all this stuff. And I was just young, but it was just like, what the fuck is the matter with you people? And then the I then I learned about Hiroshima and stuff like I mean, people have just been shitting on each other for like I was, I was gonna say a million years, but a long time. Like, <laughs> why? Why do we hate? Like, why can't you be you and we be us and we can all live together in harmony? Why, why can't that be? I mean, you know, yeah, we all just fucking get along. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Seriously, though, come on. What are we doing here? We have to think about passing down to our children. And it ain't much right now. I mean, uh, and and I never in my life imagined that I would ever hear um, slurs uh, about about Jewish people again. Like, it, and there's so many things that are wrong. Like right now, even with my Canadian government, I'm shaking my head, going, "How in the fuck can that can this be? How can they manage to do this? How are they allowed to do this? And they're not. And I've been watching the House of Commons a lot lately too." They're so fucking boring, but like, you have to watch it. You have to see what the hell they're doing, and they're stupid. They're like, they're just like, tit for tatting each other. Like one side says this, and then the other side says that, and it's like, what is ever like, get something done. You know, like do something. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm losing my battery. Alrighty. Oh no. Oh no. I'm I'm just, I'm also. What do you call it? I guess I'm gonna say goodbye for now because I think I'm gonna die soon. Or right, my battery is not me. No, no, no. All right, love you. Um, I guess I'll rant another day. <laughs> okay, bye. Talk to you soon. And have a lovely day. Bye.